Hello everyone, Chaos here, and welcome to another Old School RuneScape video. In the previous one, we talked about how I personally think Old School might be in some trouble, despite the community achieving a huge win against Jagex when the HD plugin was released after days of riots. By the looks of it, not a lot of people were too fond of what I had to say, but that's exactly what those videos are for, and I appreciate all of your comments regardless. And after three videos of discussion, it is time to go back to some gameplay. In the past, we've looked at how to AFK every single skill in OSRS, and today we are going to do the opposite, as I will show you guys the fastest training methods for every single skill in case you want to speed up your gains. If you enjoyed today's video, we have a lot of content like this on the channel, so a subscription with notifications on would be greatly appreciated. And if you guys want to join our growing community, you can check out the Discord link in the description below. Now, if you guys are relatively new to my channel, I'd like to start out with a few disclaimers so we can all be in the same page in terms of context, and this time around I I only have four quick ones for you guys. First of all, I will cover only one method per skill which yields the highest amount of experience per hour, and I will tell you the level requirement for you to do it as well as any other additional information to know surrounding that method. Then, the experience per hour you see for all of the methods will be achievable with almost tick perfect clicks and playing at full attention. But even with sloppy clicks, you will be able to achieve very similar numbers if you pay full attention to what you are doing. And finally, and I would say the most important of all of them, you can check out the description to see all of the methods being put to the test. Now the reason is because I am a fairly AFK and lazy player, so I've never done a lot of these myself, so this video is going to give you guys an idea of how quickly you can train a certain skill as I am not a mechanical god myself, so it would be better for you guys to check out the masters performing some of these methods in their perspective videos if you are curious. And, well, not a disclaimer, but this time around we will look at all of the skills from slowest to fastest, just to have a different structure for the video. Now, you might be wondering, well, Chaos, what's the point of this video if you are not going to show those methods being applied right here? So grab your favorite drink and let's talk about the absolute fastest training methods for every skill in Old School RuneScape. We are going to start with Slayer as it's probably the slowest skill overall, even when going full sweat. By doing Tyrael skipping or cancelling tasks, you can be assigned to monsters that can be killed in multi-combat areas for you to burst or cannon them. Tasks such as Smoke Devils, Dust Devils, Necreals, Abyssal Demons, and even Dagonauts can give you obscene experience per hour if killing multiple at once with Ancient Magics. Just keep in mind that this might be slightly expensive because of the cost of the runes. Up next we have Agility, and the best method is available to us at level 92 in the form of Hallowed Sepulchre. Once you master this brutal activity, and by doing it while ignoring all of the loot chests, you can gain upwards of 90,000 experience per hour. Now, unlike rooftop agility courses, there's literally no way to do this in a chill way, and it will always keep you clicking intensively. Starting off the triple digits, we have mining, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people know about this one. In order to achieve above 100,000 experience per hour in the skill, we are going to mine granite with tick manipulation. Now, if you don't know what that is, I'll also leave you guys a useful link in the description below. The term tick manipulation will be used a few times in this video, so make sure to learn what this is for you to do these methods as efficiently as possible. We now jump to the best skill in the game, which is runecrafting. Obviously, you can get above 150 or even 200,000 experience per hour if you hire runners. But like I said, let's just go ahead and skip over this one. If you want to get your own experience without outside help, the best method would be crafting lava runes with Day of Essence, which give 50% bonus runecrafting experience. Now, keep in mind that you also have to mine these yourself, but it seems like the trade-off is fairly decent if you want to get this skill over with quickly. I'll put farming right here because you can actually train it actively with the tide farm with the best seeds, which yield around 108,000 experience per hour. But this skill yields even more experience per hour. By doing three tree runs per day, and one fruit tree and a celastra tree per day, you can gain upwards of 400,000 experience per day by just spending around 30 minutes, and it goes even higher if you do herb runs every 80 minutes. So I would say about 500,000 experience per day is very likely, even if you don't touch the tight farm. We will now go to the nightmare zone where you can get around 120,000 experience per hour by derocking with an optimal level list of monsters purely for experience. I will leave a link in the description below on a great guide until I release my own. 
a little foreshadowing right there, but these experience rates can be achieved at around level 90 in attack and strength, but anything above 70 for Derok armor will give you a nice chunk of experience. When it comes to fishing, we are going to use the tick manipulation again, and we are going to do a two-tick harpooning method in which you will catch tuna and swordfish. The experience per hour at higher levels can reach upwards of 125,000 experience per hour at 85, but technically you can give this a try at level 50, which is when you are able to catch swordfish from its fishing spot. A little, little tongue twister there. Just keep in mind that it might be pretty slow at first, so just keep trying until you get it. Following the same tick manipulation method, we will jump into woodcutting, this time by chopping teak trees. By doing the two tick method, you can get around 180,000 experience per hour, and there's an even crazier method called the 1.5 tick method, which I will also link in the description which involves the teak trees in Fossil Island. Technically, you can start cutting trees at level 35, but this estimates experience per hour can be expected at around level 80, so you can have a better chance at successfully chopping the trees. Following the same trend, we will use tick manipulation to catch black chinchampas in the wilderness at level 80, since you can place 6 traps at once. And with decent clicks, this method can land around 200,000 experience per hour. However, it doesn't come without a risk. You can be PK'd at any time, so if you don't like that possibility, you can do the same thing with Red Chinchampas, which will net you slightly less experience per hour, but still pretty good. Coming up, we have Thieving, and the best method is Pyramid Plunder. At level 91, you have access to the final floor, and by calculating your time inside the pyramid as well as with good RNG, you can get up to 270,000 experience per hour, which is way better than any other popular method like Blackjacking, Already Knights, The Sorcerer's Garden, and much more. However, this method is slightly more click-intensive than other ones, excluding Blackjacking, of course. At level 40, you can smelt the gold bars, and if you do it at the Blast Furnace in Keldegrim and with decent clicks, you can reach experience rates of around 360,000 experience per hour. If you are going for rank 1, gained in 24 hours, make sure to do it while you're in the toilet so you don't even have to stand up to go to the bathroom and waste the precious clicks. Before we get into magic, I have a neat little magic trick for you guys. Did you know that if you click the like button once, it turns blue? <laughs> okay, I just had to include that somewhere in the video. Anyway, when it comes to magic, we are going to cast the Ice Barrage on Maniacal Monkeys in Ape Atoll after completion of Monkey Madness 2. Obviously, you also need completion of Desert Treasure, but by doing this you can expect experience rate of about 400,000 per hour, and the neat thing about this is that you don't need to wait until level 94 magic to do this, but rather you can do this method as soon as you hit level 62, which is what gives you access to the first multi-target spell in the Ancient Spellbook, being obviously the Smoke Burst, and then you can work your way upwards to Ice Burst and Ice Barrage. Next we have Crafting, and by reaching level 84 we have access to Black Dragon High bodies, which can give you around 420,000 experience per hour, which is incredibly fast. And just like magic, even though black dragon height bodies can be crafted at level 84, you can start crafting lower level bodies at level 63 and work your way up from green, then blue, then red, and finally black bodies, which makes crafting an incredibly quick 99 to achieve. However, it's uh, going to be very expensive, so prepare a lot of cash to burn. And speaking of expensive, we now look at Herblor, and the absolute fastest method is available to us at level 81 when we can start preparing Ceradomen Brews. These potions can give us around 450,000 experience per hour with decent clicks, and just like before, every single new potion below level 81 gives you amazing experience per hour for you to reach this endgame method. Coming in with upwards of 500 and even 550,000 experience per hour with proper gear and boosts, we have ranging. We can achieve this in the high level 90s, but since Red Chinchampas can be used at level 55, and then Black Chinchampas at level 65, you can start gaining a disgusting amount of experience by killing maniacal monkeys. You can also use Great Chinchampas at level 45, but experience per hour will obviously be slightly less. Fire making is overall pretty quick, but the fastest experience per hour can be obtained at level 90 by burning redwood logs. I recommend doing this if you don't care about money or the fire making pet, as Winter Toad is pretty much the staple way to get level 99 fire making. 
but I personally did this starting at around level 95 because I just wanted to be done as soon as possible. If you want more money or to train more skills at once or chances at a pet, Winter Toad is definitely your best bet. But purely for experience, just stick to Redwood Logs. And now we have a massive jump in experience per hour and we continue with cooking. After the Taibo Wanai Trail, you can do a one tick Karambuan method starting at level 30. But I recommend getting to, let's say, 60, 70, or even 80 to burn even less food. During the last couple of levels, you will be able to achieve anywhere above 800 and even 900,000 experience per hour with decent clicks, and most importantly by cooking at the Myths Guild, which has a bank and a cooking range on the same tile. So I would recommend doing Dragon Slayer 2 before getting cooking to level 99. For construction, there's a pretty crazy method that requires for you to do tick and click perfect actions without fail. And I am talking about Mahogany Gnome Benches. By doing this at max efficiency, you can see experience rates of about 1.1 million per hour at level 77. But if this gets too intense, Mahogany Dining Tables at level 52 will still give you about 900,000 experience per hour at max efficiency. Needless to say though, construction will always be a 100% money sink for you, as you are going to get absolutely nothing in return. And speaking of nothing in return, we now take a look at prayer. And oddly enough, the best method is available at level 70, when you can offer superior dragon bones at gilded altars. Doing so will give you around 1.3 million experience per hour, so this one is ridiculously fast. And if you don't care about money, you can offer Org Bones to get to level 70 and then keep up the grind. And finally, we have the undisputed king of experience per hour, which is Fletching at level 95, when we can start doing Dragon Darts. A batch of 10 will give you 250 experience. And if you can do two batches every tick, you can see experience rates of up to 3 million experience per hour. Three batches every tick will give you 4.5 million experience per hour, and realistically, by doing four batches per tick, you can get upwards of 6 million experience per hour. However, if not using mouse keys, this method will probably claim your wrist too. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the absolute best training method for every skill in the game, and of course, the level of requirements to unlock it. If there's anything I missed or I got wrong, feel free to let me know in the comments below. A massive thank you to all my channel members, especially the madmen that are Josh B for being part of the Infernal tier, as well as Mr. Moldybot who joined the Nezi tier. Also, a huge shout out to our new channel members who joined during one of my live streams. We have Ryan in the Rune tier and Quentin in the Berserk tier. Thank you guys so much, and if you would like to support this channel monetarily and receive cool perks in exchange of your support, make sure to click the join button below for you to become a part of the family. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next week where I will let you guys choose the next topic. So be on the lookout for a poll in the community tab. Happy grinding, and I will see you then. Pa-pa-pa-peace.